I will show you how to make your own homemade lava lamp. For this, you're gonna need five basic ingredients. One, you can use cups, clear cups. It has to be clear. It can be plastic or glass. I'm using plastic because it's simpler and easier. You're gonna need water. It can be tap water, bottled water, whatever you prefer. You're gonna need cooking oil. For this, I'm using vegetable oil, but it doesn't matter what kind of oil you use as long as it's cooking oil. You're gonna need food coloring. It can be any color that you like, whatever your favorite color is. And finally, you're gonna need um, fizzing tablets. For this, I'm using Alka-Seltzer fizzing tablets, but it can be any fizzing tablets that you have. And the more fizz, the better. Step one, pour, you're gonna to wanna to pour a third of a cup with water. So let's pour a third. That's a third there. And Then step. Okay. Then step two, you're gonna wanna fill pretty much to the brim, like around right here. You're gonna wanna fill it with the cooking oil that you use. So one, two, right? You're gonna want to put the food coloring in. Can be any color you want, and as much as you want for better effect. Right there, you go. Let's do this. Okay. Then. Okay. Then step four is going to be to put the tablets that you got into the cup you're going to want to put in and put each one in towards the bottom of the cup well you're just going to want to drop it because then because the bottom that's where the fizz the water is and that's where the fizz begins as you can see with the yellow the yellow is the best example You can see as they go, the fizz comes up over here, and the food coloring's all around, and it constantly goes up and down until the fizz runs out. That's why I said before, the better the fizz, the better the experiment. You can see actually here with yellow, there's these giant bubbles that are filled with yellow, and they just come, they're going down, then they go up over there where the fizz is, and then they just constantly come down. And over here, you can see over here too. So it may take a few may take a few seconds for it to actually start becoming the lava lamp because it needs to get through the oil layer. But from pretty much there forth. It's the lava lamp. So there you have it, your own homemade lava lamp. Be sure to go down in the link below for the science behind why it works, and also a few ideas on what you can do to change how the experiment works. I'd love to hear your ideas on what we should do and what how your experiments turned out. Be, and um, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, tune in next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Tune in next time. <laughs> hey, go ahead, do it again. Okay. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. To no, no, no. Why did I get confused in that part? Okay, do it again. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Okay. <laughs> uh. okay.
Keep, yeah, you can keep your hands in the pockets. Yeah, okay. this will be easier. All right. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.